Uh, I'm Dr Tom Crick, um, I'm a senior lecturer in computer science at Cardiff Metropolitan University and I'm also chair in Wales of an organisation called Computing at School which is uh, promoting and supporting computer science education in, uh, in, in Welsh schools. So we've seen a massive, um, I suppose it's been the largest educational uh, policy focus over the past year or so in the UK but also in Wales. Computer science education has, uh, um, has been discussed far and wide. It's, um, Google's chairman has said it's, uh, there's, it's a problem with UK, UK's IT education. Um, we've seen Michael Gove in England make some sort of fairly bold announcements over the past year. We've seen the Nesta Next Gen report come out in March, uh, May 2011. We've seen the Royal Society report coming out in uh, last January. And it seems to have been a massive uh, a transformation. Uh, computer science seems to be the hot STEM subject at the moment, and it seems to be um, a focus for changing technology education in the UK. So in Wales, um, the Minister Leighton Andrews spoke at last year's CAS Wales and Technocamps conference here in Swansea, and he followed that up with some very clear support for computer science education. So uh, recognising that ICT um, essentially wasn't fit for purpose or it, wasn't, it didn't seem to be doing exactly the things we wanted it to be doing, um, probably focusing a bit too much on digital literacy and IT user skills. Um, that was followed up in November with a um, stakeholders were invited to a, a review, kind of a, an ICT review meeting at the Assembly and um, he announced a couple of weeks ago that uh, the formation of an ICT steering group to, um, to essentially review the ICT curriculum in Wales, see if it's fit for purpose, clearly stating that there has to be a stronger computer science uh, component of it and I'm co-chairing the, the, this, this review and uh, we're reporting back in June. Uh, I've, I've said this many times before, I think, I think computer science is the quintessential STEM subject. I mean, the STEM agenda has been, you know, it's been a strategic priority for kind of UK and Welsh governments for the past 10 years, I suppose. And um, computer science probably hasn't had the, a very good um, focus within the, the wider STEM agenda, but that's changed massively over the past two years. Um, computer science education is of utmost priority. I mean, we've, we've kind of seen technology, I suppose user skills, IT user skills are increasingly just the baseline. So if we look at how important digital literacy is for being a functioning human being, then you, know, you just need to know how to use technology. And that's, that is a baseline level. So um, that, if we are going to kind of to develop higher level skills on top of those sort of digital literacy and IT user skills, um, this is where kind of Wales and the UK want to be. We want to, we want to be developing people with a kind of deeper understanding of how technology works, how it can be used across every sector. And also, you know, if we want to be a knowledge economy, a digital economy, we clearly need people with the kind of skills who can be innovating and be creative with technology. You would clearly need computer scientists, engineers, um, technologists to be solving these kind of problems. That's exactly what we need. If we look at the priority sectors of economic renewal, ICT, digital economy, and they underpin all of the other priority sectors. So we see, we saw the launch of the science strategy for Wales in March. Um, computer science underpins all of the, computer science research underpins all of the other, you know, advanced manufacturing, life sciences. There's a huge computational element to modern science and engineering. So the fact is it has to become a priority at school and it has to start at primary school. So programming is really, really important, but that shouldn't be the primary focus. It should be computational thinking and understanding kind of computing from a deeper level to then developing as we go through the secondary. Maths is of vital importance. I mean, I've kind of, um, there's been an issue, I think, with mathematics education for the past um, 10 years, I suppose, in the UK with regards to kind of declining numbers at A level and just the sort of um, the mathematical aptitude. So there's been a big focus on numeracy, which is you know really, really important, but numeracy isn't mathematics. Numeracy is kind of is a life skill in the sense of everyone needs to be numerate to be kind of, a, again, a functioning human being. But um, the utility of mathematics, as is with computer science, is, is huge. So you don't have to do mathematics and become a mathematician. And in the same way, you don't, if you study computer science, it doesn't mean you're going to be a computer scientist. So I think there's a, it's worryingly, it's culturally acceptable to be, to be bad at maths or not to like maths. And that's kind of laughed sort of giggled upon about saying, oh, I'm rubbish at maths. But I think that culture is going to change now. And um, yeah, I think kind of maths and we're seeing this kind of renaissance of mathematics education in the UK with a re-evaluation of how it's taught, especially at A level. It's going to be less siloed and kind of interconnected. So it's about mathematical understanding rather than just, I know how to do a bit of pure maths. I know how to do a bit of mechanics. I know how to do a bit of statistics. 
and also I know to pass an exam is going to be a much more connected. So how would you apply maths to solve interesting real world problems? And that's kind of side, side by side with the computer science education developments. It's, um, it's a really exciting time I think for STEM education in the UK and especially in Wales. Um, I suppose yeah, as is with the kind of the, the focus of the STEM agenda both kind of from a UK and a, and a Welsh perspective over the past 10-15 years I mean we've seen there was a report out from uh, the Department of Business Innovation and Skills a couple of years ago saying um, STEM graduates in non-STEM disciplines and it was quite bizarrely reported on by the newspaper saying why do we need all these STEM graduates because they're not going into traditional STEM careers and that's precisely the point. That's why they're of such value, because if you study a STEM subject, especially things like mathematics, computer science, engineering, physics, because the skills and the, the kind of the deeper understanding you have, and also sort of computational thinking skills, the problem solving skills, is such a fine foundation for doing so, so much. And that's why, you know, it, it's, it's so important to be driving forward and supporting mathematics, computer science, and just STEM education in general, because the possibilities from studying these subject, subjects are, are sort of endless, essentially. You can, they're such a great platform for doing so much. From an economic, an economic perspective, they are of huge value because you know, we've seen that you know, Wales, you know, delivering a digital Wales, we want to be a digital nation, we want to be a knowledge economy, we want to have kind of high value industry, pull high value R&D to work with the, kind of the research expertise in the universities. Well, clearly, one, we need to make sure we have the right people, the graduates, the workforce to support this. We want to pull this talent to Wales and keep it here. So we need to make kind of Wales a place where science, engineering, mathematics, computer science is, you know, that's, you've got to showcase Wales is the place to come and do this sort of stuff. And to say Wales supports this and, you know, this is a good place to be, uh, you know, it's a, it's, an, it's a nation built on innovation on its science and research base. And that's a really important message. Yeah, Technicamps is a, is a brilliant project. I mean, um, since its inception and in, when it was funded in 2011, but as a concept, it's been kind of around at Swansea University for about 10 years. And um, since 2010, 2011, so much has changed with kind of computer science education in Wales and in the UK, but kind of the wider STEM agenda. But it's, it's, it's been had such a massive impact on the convergence area in Wales because um, it's just been so important to actually to showcase computer science, proper computer science. Um, outside of the classroom environment and just to kind of to show how important and the possibilities with computing and STEM careers are especially in Wales so it's aspirational in the sense of it's showing the possibilities of from studying these subjects and also it's um, I mean it's just a priority for Wales we need kids to, to be studying these subjects and the perceptions are formed very very early on so that's why I mean even you could argue that hitting year seven is too late. I mean, it's brilliant that they start so so young, but we, primary school, kind of that primary secondary transition, the key stage three perceptions are formed about disciplines and you know how interesting and important they are. But Technocamps have been doing some great stuff, sort of extracurricular activities and you know, bringing kids away from the school environment to Swansea University and all the other partner sites. And um, yeah, from a um, we've been working very closely with Technocamps from a computing at school, CAS Wales perspective. It seems like uh, we've had a massive impact on kind of the computing, computer science education policy in Wales because the brand is really strong, it's recognised um, and it seems to have had a really, really big impact. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how it works over the next year or so and um, I hope it gets some follow-on funding because it actually is a, is a, a very high impact project for computer science education in Wales.